Uh, hello everyone, we are at the APMAs in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, we are at the Quicken Loans Arena, uh, finishing up the red carpet event. Uh, got to meet a lot of uh, talented people, but uh, not gonna lie, there are a lot of outfits and wardrobe choices that didn't match, didn't make sense, just all together were pretty terrible. Really question what these people are thinking when they choose what they want to wear. So I uh, thought we'd have a little little fashion police episode. Um, let's let's take a look, see what people were wearing. Black Veil Brides was here, and of course, to no one's surprise, they were all in black. It's probably the most predictable choice of wardrobe. We had Asking Alexandria with their new vocalist. I'm not gonna lie, these guys were very underdressed. Um, I don't even think they knew this was a formal event. Uh, especially Ben, he was just, he was looking rough. Christopher Drew from Never Shout Never rocking the sailor look. I don't know if he's a licensed admiral. Uh, I don't know if it's even legal to be wearing that kind of garb. Jake from Memphis May Fire was wearing these green glasses that really contrasted with the rest of his outfit. Maddie Mullins was wearing this weird like scarf thing attached to his jacket. I don't really know what it was. Uh, didn't seem to have any sort of functional purpose. We saw Taking Back Sunday. Um, Adam, of course, looked like a homeless person. Paris was there looking all black and eerie and shady. It's really depressing. All Time Low were there. Um, Alex made the interesting choice to take blue highlighters to his hair. Motionless and White was there wearing all black. Uh, dressed up for whatever Halloween party they're going to afterwards. I don't know who celebrates Halloween in July, but they obviously do. New Year's Day was present. At first I thought they were motionless and white. Miss May I was there. Uh, Levi Benton really needs to do something with his hair. It's just out of control. Looks like a uh, raccoon is attached to his head. I mean, at least put it in a ponytail. State Champs was there. Nothing special. Newfound Glory was there. More like newfound green shirts. They were all matching. I don't know how that happens. That's a crazy coincidence that they all just happen to wear the green shirts. They need to really plan for these things and let each other know what they're wearing so something awful like that never happens again. As It Is was there. Uh, they were looking okay. So for Patty Walters, uh, I don't really know what his deal is. He was extremely overdressed. I don't know, trying to make some sort of statement. And I don't know about Ali's button up. It didn't have a collar. Uh, it looked like he had joined a monastery. This guy in a red suit that looks just like me was there. Uh, I'm not sure who he is, but it, it was weird. It was like looking into a uh, freak show mirror. Caleb Shomo from Beartooth was looking fly as <laughs> Really no complaints there. Very attractive man. Set It Off is the band that shows up in a white Hummer limo, all wearing white tuxes and whatnot. Um, of course, they are that type of band to do that. Max was wearing suspenders and a belt. Don't really know what that was. We Came As Romans was there. Their outfits were pretty boring. Um, but it's unfortunate because they, they caught me looking at them. I must be out of the loop. I didn't know that Craig Mabbitt joined the Amish Mafia. Ran into Tyler Carter and Michael Bond of Issues. Tyler was wearing these broken white overalls. Um, probably the best outfit I've seen tonight. Pierce the Veil was there. Uh, Vic looked like a protagonist in some all new Nickelodeon show. Weezer was there looking old as shit. Lou from Palisades was wearing a skirt. Um, I'm not one for fulfilling gender roles, but I, I think that's something that doesn't really belong on a guy. Sum 41 was there. Um, Derek looked like he had just joined the Leprechaun military. Crossfaith was there, cosplaying our favorite anime characters. August Burns Red was out there and looking good, but uh, not gonna lie, Shark is definitely the most well-dressed. Uh, very simplistic, uh, just very clean-cut altogether. It looks great. That's it for Fashion Police at the APMAs. Um, very, very disappointed with what I saw this year. Hopefully people will make better choices next year. Um, it's going to be a rough night. I, I'm not expecting to have a great time. Uh, see you guys uh, tomorrow, I guess.